schizencephaly. Schizencephaly comes from a Greek word which means to split. Indeed, the brain here seems to be split with a defect lined by gray matter. Unlike porencephaly, which is due to a vascular insult, schizencephaly results from abnormal neuronal migration. During early life, if we take a look at the cortex, it looks like it looks like this. It has three layers. The innermost layer called the subventricular zone has neurons or produces neurons and these neurons will migrate. They will migrate radially to reach the cortex which is their final destination. If there is no migration of the neurons to the cortex, there will be no axons to be formed here and there will be no axons to myelinate later. This explains why if the neurons fail to migrate from the subventricular zone to the cortex, the resultant cleft to be formed will be lined by this plastic gray matter. Now, if the cleft, as you can see here, is closely opposed together and does not communicate with the ventricle, this is what we call a closed lip schizencephaly. Now, here is an example. As you can see here on the left side. Now, if we have the margins which are wide apart and there is CSF in the cleft, the cleft is now communicating with the ventricle. And this is what we call the open lip schizencephaly. And here is what it looks like on MRI. So compared to parencephaly, the pathology is different. In schizencephaly, we have abnormal neuronal migration. Therefore, uh, the cleft is lined by dysplastic gray matter. So that's it. Thank you very much for listening.